Hey, so we're back. It is still dark outside, but I think, I don't know, I feel like I have better lighting on, on him. And I want to share what he was wearing. So, um, I feel like this baby is super newborn. I wanted to kind of give my review on the kit itself once it's painted and put together. I found that um, lately some of the babies I've reviewed like the blank kit. My uh, perception of the kit or opinion of the kit kind of changes a little bit once they're painted, rather it's good or bad. Um, the first thing I want to start with is his feet. And I'm just going to take one of his socks off and then I'll put it back on. Um, he has really nice size feet. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see that. It's very, very nice size feet. Um, it's funny because his, his feet is actually look like a miniature size foot of the Sandy Sculpt. Um, same sculptor, so I guess it would make sense, but, um, so she does more of like a rectangle flat foot so to speak um we would call it like oh he's gonna be slew footed i don't know if you guys heard that saying before where they walk with their their feet going outward um so he uh so okay let's start feet is a good size so you can put them on socks shoes He'll definitely fit a, you know, a zero shoe easy. Um, he might even be able to slide into a one, but I would try to stick with the, the um, size zero. I'm gonna get some shoes here. I need to see what size they are. These are stride rights and they are, what size? Uh, it doesn't say, but I think, oh yes it is, it's a one. So yeah, um, let me see what you guys can see. All right, so if you look at this and his foot, he's pretty much in a one. Because I know that he will be able to fit this shoe like really good. So he actually have pretty big feet, which is nice. Even though he's a small baby, he has a good size foot. His foot is actually filling this shoe. I'm not having to, he doesn't have like a whole lot of extra room. It looks big on, now this is a more bulky shoe. It looks big on his foot, but yeah. Um, maybe I should try him on a sandal. Whoa. And this is what I try to avoid with both Reborns and Silicone. You don't want to have to pull and get friction when you're taking off the shoe. When you're taking on and off a shoe on a, on a baby, on your dolls, when you do that pull stuff, you're, you're rubbing against the paint. You're, you're scraping the paint. Rather, you got a sock on or not, no matter how you look at it, that's, that's what's happening. Um, now, he has a nice texture to him. So I'm not really worried too much, but even still, I don't I don't like to put my babies on tight shoes, tight clothes. Um, this is a Carter sandal. It's a Carter's newborn sandal. pretty good um again you're gonna want to be particular about the type of shoe that you put him on because he is little and you don't want to you don't want to make him look like he got on bozo shoes or clown feet so um depending on the shoe and how it's you know made the other thing is his fist. Like I said, 
Um, when he was blank, his face was like, they were like, ah, they're okay. They looked a little blah to me. Um, but now that they're painted, I can see they they're actually really cute painted. And so, especially like how the little finger peeks through there. Um, love it. I love his, his tummy plate too. It wraps around really nicely. It fits him perfectly. It's not too big, not too bulky. And the navel is really cute. And I like the little indent part, even though I couldn't figure out which way was, which way it was supposed to go. And I actually painted it thinking it was the other way. So I painted it upside down, but it's okay. It works out. The healing part around the navel, I I thought I was putting it around the bottom, but I actually put it around the top. But we ain't gonna talk about that. Um, so that that turned out really good, um, and I love it. You know, he can wear it with his clothes. It doesn't really take away from his cuddle factor because it's a the half plate and it allows his head to still flop type scenario. Um, his little elbows are really cute too. And like I said, his fist his his fist is nice. I like his the position of his arms and his hands. Um this baby is very newborny to me. Um his mouth has a slight opening in there, but not enough for a modified pacifier. But I love his lips. His lips allow room for detail. You guys can't see this on, you probably you can't see here. Let's see, you can't see on camera. But he has, I did the, uh, I call it crusty lip. Um, but he has the little milk blister type thing on his lip. Uh, the sculpt actually has it kind of sculpted that way, but of course I added, you know, a little 3D effect there. And in person you can actually see it and feel it. Um, again, because I was painting him for me or to my liking, he has blemishes in his face. So I gave him a very newborn-y look. Um. Uh, I haven't wanted to share like a lot of his stuff up close because, you know, I like to have something to myself sometimes for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I can't, it's not showing up here. Like you can't, his acne, baby acne or whatever the case may be is so subtle. Um, so you really have to really, really get up on him. Even me standing at the distance of where I'm at from here in person, I can barely see them. Um, but they're there. Um, and of course, you know, you can, you can see them, you can feel them type thing. So, but anyway, that's, that's the painting part. I did, you know, try to give him quite a bit of, you know, modeling, but subtle in his limbs because again to me he just screamed newborn 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 um he has nice ears and i told you that and he has a nice shaped head also so he would be okay ball although he's going to be rooted i have his style picked out i will hopefully be able to send him off soon so he can get hair um, but yeah, he is a really cute baby. Really, really cute baby. I am so over the moon with how he turned out. He's a different, I don't usually use the colors in the way that I use them, um, with him, but I'm happy I did. I like the way he turned out. Um, he's definitely a little unicorn for me. Because he is definitely a different baby. But I've been exploring. So I want to say that this is 
definitely one of um one of the cutest little, little sculpts I've painted and I definitely want to paint at least one more so um yeah so that is it and for everyone that may have mess been messaging me and stuff I'm trying to get through my messages but I've been extremely busy um school is back in and you know the back and forth and trying to get us get settled working on prototype Greta for silicone studio um that is like my primary focus I do have a little bit more rooting to do on Taya on the back of her head and um prototype Taya from um Erica Lee so she is also available to reserve or she'll be ready when she, when she finish she'll be ready um and I'll do a whole different photo shoot of her and so that everybody can see the full picture of her again and uh, I will have her available for sale and who else um I am working on well baby Greta I definitely <laughs> I definitely decided to keep that one but I'm not I'm gonna I am if, if he or she, and I'm leaning towards he, comes out really, really um, nice, then I'm going to go ahead and put him up for sale. But um, I am not doing any uh, reserves on him. I'm not doing any, um, whatchamacallit, what do you call those things? First right of refusals. I'm not doing any first right of refusals on any of my babies. I'm actually going to uh, probably be working on either doing my, getting my site to be set up more like a website. And I'll probably start selling my babies either there or on reborns.com. So, um, that's how I'm going to do that. I have some other babies that will be in the works. But that's that. I took a, I opened up a slot for September for custom or private order, more so for private order. And that one is for September. I don't know if I'll be able to do another spot before um, Christmas, but I will let you guys know. If that does happen, I got to make sure I finish what's on my table first before I add anything else, you know, to my plate. Because I I don't want to overdo it or have someone waiting or don't miss the, make that Christmas deadline. Because I know people really get anxious to get their babies home by Christmas. And I don't like to ship too close to Christmas. So I stopped shipping like after the first week of December, I try not to ship anymore. Second week at the very latest, I don't ship much in December. So, um, just because of the packages be all crazy and I just don't trust it. So yeah, so I will, um, also the, the giveaway baby, um, I've been in contact with the mom and so I am, I will get that one started in once it's painted, then we will proceed with the whole little adoption process game, fun time. Um, I've slowly been sending out love mail, but again, like I said, school came in and I didn't expect to be it to be so crazy. Um, so I got little boxes ordered so that I could put the, the, the stuff in there and I got my labels. So I'm going to hopefully get it out. No later than next week, all everybody's stuff will be out to them. So just bear with me. I'm only one person and I'm doing the best I can um, to get everything done and stuff. Um, Meribit got her little cuddle and she gave me great feedback on him. And so I'm so happy she's really, really enjoying him and that's what it's all about. And that's, you know, that's the biggest part about giving is when the recipient is just 
so excited and love the gift. It makes me feel good. It makes me want to continue to give. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.